There is an elephant in the room, and I have a particularly small room, so we have to talk about this. First, though, I need to talk to you about the unspoken rules of YouTube. First rule is that you must enjoy making videos. You cannot approach YouTube as a get-rich-quick scheme, and people will hone into that, and you will be an evil, disgusting, horrible, terrible sellout. I might be understating that a little bit. Now, that's not particularly a secret. Everybody knows that. We will hone in on you if you are just doing this for the money, and we will run you right out of town. But the less known part is that if you indicate at all in any slight way that you care about any numbers whatsoever related to YouTube you run the risk of being one of those people don't look at your view count don't look at your subscriber count don't look at the number of likes and dislikes what are you a sellout it's kind of a dumb rule if I'm being honest. Second rule, and this one is a little bit more unspoken, is do not ever let your audience see your weakness. Don't ever go, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I just don't feel like my stuff is that good. I worry sometimes that I'm never going to be able to live up to my audience's expectations. Because your audience doesn't want to hear that. They want to be entertained. That is your job. Why are you whining to them? They don't want to hear your whining. In fact, none of it is their fault. They're the people who are watching your videos. So how dare you waste their time complaining about the people who aren't. Never been particularly good at following that rule either. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. That elephant is a number and it is right below this video, and unless something really, really weird happens, you'll notice it is a very small fraction of the number of people who are subscribed to this channel. My channel isn't just a fluke. This has affected many, many, many YouTube creators. People with 100 subscribers, people with a few thousand subscribers, and people with many, many decimals of fans. Now, personally, I would be fine with this if I knew that those 4,000 plus subscribers who aren't going to see this video were watching other people's videos, but then you would expect that there would be other YouTubers who were getting good numbers. But given that very few of those growing channels seem to exist, I have to wonder, have people stopped watching videos? Because that's a problem. We gotta figure out a way to get people involved again, to make them feel collectively like they want to watch the stuff that we make. And I'm not talking the stuff that I make, I'm talking the stuff that all of us make. That's something we gotta figure out. But first, if we wanna fix that, we have to get rid of those two stupid rules. We need to learn to accept that people can enjoy making videos for themselves, but still care that people watch. And we need to be comfortable with the idea of talking through the problems that we face in making stuff. Because if you don't address the problems, you can't find solutions.